What you're looking at here is Nissan's showstopper at the Japan Mobility Show. This is the Hyperforce, a futuristic look at what uh, the GTR could probably be when it goes all electric. Now this is of course a lot of work along with Polyphony and of course you'll be able to see it on uh, Gran Turismo and various other digital platforms where Nissan is associated with but as you can see output is about a thousand kilowatt radical design there you see in the tail lamps you can clearly see the hints of the GTR I'm gonna quickly show you what the interior looks like there you go really futuristic but then this is a concept at this point in time and when it goes down into production which could be as soon as the next few years the next two to three years this is essentially what the next generation of the GTR when it goes completely electric would look like this is still a concept far from production so a lot of the cues that you'd see on here will change dramatically but certain hints, gullwing doors, the massive rear spoiler, the air dams, the front and the rear end. Of course, don't go by those wheels and tires because that's just too big and fills up the wheel wells entirely. This is purely because it's uh, conceptual at this point in time. Spacious interiors, as you can see, but then those thin, sleek seats may not make it into production. Lots of carbon fiber, as you can see, on the body panels, textured carbon fiber. And fantastic design elements, including the LED architecture right there. I love that mild glow, the red glow. So much of Knight Rider in there. But like I said, a lot of this is just conceptual, including those camera mounted rear view mirrors. But if you look at the silhouette, you can certainly see that hint at what the GTR of the future would look like.